Hi, I'm Bruce Momgen, one of the Postgres core developers and one of the co-founders of Internet-based development of Postgres in 1996. I'm here to talk to you about PG Migrator. You might have heard of PG Migrator and you might wonder, what does it do? Or why is it important for me? Or how does it work? I'm going to be answering those questions in the next couple of minutes. First, what is PG Migrator? PG Migrator is designed to allow rapid upgrades of Postgres. Typically, Postgres has required you to dump and reload your data to move from one major version of Postgres to another. With PG Migrator, that's no longer necessary. And as I'll tell you later on, you see some dramatic improvements in the speed at which you can do major upgrades using PG Migrator. PG Migrator was released as open source um, in early 2009, and I've been working on it for a couple months, making it ready for Postgres 8.4. We've had a lot of people testing it, and fortunately, it's now ready to be used for migrating from Postgres 3 to 8, Postgres 8, 3 to 8, 4. How does PG Migrator work? Well, as you might imagine, Postgres has a lot of changes in every major release. In fact, Postgres 8, 4 had almost 500 changes. And with those 500 changes, there's a lot of change in the way Postgres stores things and the way things are represented in the database. That's why historically Postgres has always required a dump and reload of the database to allow you to migrate from one major version to another. And because major version releases of Postgres happen about every year, that can be difficult for administrators and can lead to undesired downtime. So with PG Migrator, obviously that's greatly improved. And how does it work? Well, basically PG Migrator takes the old database and dumps out the schema of the old database. The schema contains things like the tab create table and create function and create sequence. All the things we call DDL or data definition language commands. And those DDL commands are loaded into the new database. So all of a sudden we have a new database and it has all of the DDL or all of the objects from your old database. But it has none of the data. Fortunately, the actual data files that are used to store your data they don't change too much from major release to major release. So PG Migrator is able to copy the file, the data files, from your old version to your new version of Postgres and allow for a very rapid upgrade. How rapid, you might wonder? Well, one of our early testers had a 150 gig database. And he tried the traditional method of migrating from 8.3 to 8.4 by dumping his database and then reloading it into the new server. Unfortunately, that took the user about 300 minutes, which is about five hours. Then they tried using the new parallel restore feature that uh, came in Postgres 8.4. That reduced the dump and reload time to about 180 minutes, still three hours. Then he tried PG Migrator. PG Migrator has two modes. He first tried it in copy mode. Copy mode is typically what you'd use when you're, you're, you're testing. And it basically copies the files from the old server to the new server. When he used copy mode with PG Migrator, it took 44 minutes. Certainly much better than the original 300 minutes that it took to migrate his database with a traditional dump and reload. Then he used PG Migrator's link mode. In link mode, the physical files are merely linked from the old database version to the new database version, meaning that it's very rapid and there's no additional requirements for disk space. In link mode, it took 0.44 minutes to do the migration, or roughly 23 seconds to migrate a 150 gig database. The beauty also is that even if it was a multi terabyte database, it wouldn't have taken more than an extra couple of seconds. That's the beauty of PG Migrator. PG Migrator is really designed for people who have very large databases and who are trying to minimize the amount of downtime necessary to do major version upgrades. I'm very excited about PG Migrator and plan on continue working on it so that it's a viable upgrade option, not only for going from version Postgres 8.3 to 8.4, but also for 8.5 and in the future. I hope perhaps you'll try PG Migrator and then you'll find it useful for your environment. I hope you've enjoyed my speech and thank you for listening.